Okay, I went ahead and I'm sorry I had to make this a part two to the menudo. All right, so I'm going to show you what I did here. I went ahead and I cut the pieces of menudo. So as you can see, this is it. I cut them in little pieces, as small as you can, you know, to your taste. Put some, put some water in there. Now, I was lucky. This time I only got a little bit of fat out of it. The fat is no good. You don't, you want to cut that off. Okay, so that gets trash. I'm going to go ahead and add some vinegar to it now. To kill any bacteria or anything that might be in there. So, you can add as much as you want. I'll probably do it two times. And when you do this, of course, clean hands always. You want to squeeze it. That way you can loosen up any extra fat that might be in there. And then you want to rinse this out like two or three times. So this is all the tripe meat I got out of one package. And I cut it up in pieces. As you can see, it's a long process. So, in Spanish, estamos siendo menudo. Esta es la tripa. Ya la hemos picado y ya le hemos quitado la grasa, que es esta que está acá. Este menudo es del bastante caro, casi cuatro dólares la libra. Pues entonces viene con menos grasa y es de mejor calidad. Pero gracias a Dios, con muy poco la grasa que le saqué. Ok, so, le eché un poquito de vinagre aquí con agua para eliminar alguna bacteria, cualquier cosita. Y la vamos a desaguar como tres veces o dos veces, las veces que usted quiera. A mí me gusta hacerlo como por lo menos dos veces más. Pero el vinagre solo le echa bastante la primera vez. Y la segunda vez si quiere le puede echar un poquito más. Entonces lo guarda y lo vuelve a hacer. Ya pronto le vamos a enseñar el próximo proceso. Esta es la patita de, de cerdo que también le voy a echar al menudo. Que los mexicanos le dicen menudo. Nosotros, le, los puertorriqueños, le decimos mondongo. ¿Ok? Que es muy diferente nombre, pero la misma cosa. Pues ya mismo le voy a enseñar el próximo paso. Pretty soon, I'm going to show you the next step. Ok, we're going to continue now. I've already rinsed them. The menudo, here you go, the tripe, go off, rinse like three times. This is my pressure cooker. It's a European pressure cooker. This thing is amazing. Amazing. I'm going to go ahead and add all my menudo in here. And the good thing about rinsing it two or three times, uh, you, you release a lot of the fat too from it. As you can see, there's still a little fat that's staying in the metal bowl. So, that's a good thing about doing the rinsing. All right, we got it all in here. This is the fat that I took out, like I said. The expensive one, this one was like almost $3.99 a pound. It comes with less fat because it's a better quality. So the fat you do want to cut off, which is usually the white stuff. You can tell it's not meat, but white fat. So you cut that off, and that's that. Now the pig feet, you want to open up the packet. Like so. Take this bowl, put it over here, because I'm not using that now. Put a little water to unfreeze it, because as you can see, big feet are pretty well frozen. Estas son las patitas de cerdo, están media frisa. Hay que desfrizarlo un poquito, y después la echo junto con el menudo que ya tengo en la olla de presión. 
Some of the Spanish and English so that everybody can understand and get this enjoy this recipe. All right, so I'm going to keep it frosting the pig feet a little bit. And you don't even have to cut them up. No la tienes ni que cortar porque con la olla de presión se van reventando fácil. Yeah, with the pressure cooker, it uh, it uh, gets soft and breaks in pieces easily. Okay, one more second. I'm going to show you the ingredients and cut them all up in pieces. All right, now I'm going to show you these other potatoes, two potatoes. I cut them up in pieces, and they're going to go in my pot with the menudo. So I'm going to throw them in here. Okay, that's the potatoes. Now I'm going to add three teeth of pixie. One, I already rinsed them out. Two, and three. Three patitas de cerdo. Three patitas de cerdo con las papas y el menudo. Dos papas por ten pedazos. Okay, here I got cassave, pieces of carrots. Red bell peppers, tomatoes, onions, and uh, broccoli. Some corn, garlic, minced garlic, and Puerto Rican sofrito, which is uh, bell peppers, garlic, cilantro, onions, and it's all, you know, it turns into like a paste. Sort of, as you can see there. Tomato sauce. Sazon Goya. We're going to use a, maybe two, two packs of that. I have adobo, which we will add. Garlic, which we will also add. And a little bit of oregano. Estos son los ingredientes que se le va a echar. Casabe, con zanahoria, pimientos, cebollas, brócoli, tomate. Cazabe, maíz, ajo, sofrito puertorriqueño, salsa de tomate, ajo, también el polvo un poquito, adobo puertorriqueño que se llama goya, y sazón, que viene unos paquetitos, tiene, tiene achote y todo eso, y orégano. Esos son todos los ingredientes que se van a echar aquí adentro con El mondongo. Okay. I'm doing it in Spanish and English, guys, so bear with me. But I think everybody should know this recipe. I throw in the cassave. I hope I have enough room for the water. Oh, that's going to come out so beautiful when it's done. I want all the good stuff to go in there. All right, very good. A little bit of corn. I'm just going to sprinkle it in there. You put a little juice. That's okay. It just gives it a good sweet taste. Put a little more. There we go. The rest I will save. Now we'll add some little sofrito, one, two, one spoon, two spoons, three spoons, four spoons, cuatro cucharas de sofrito puertorriqueño, tengo que conseguir un asistente que me ayude. Un poquito de ajo, de este. Como una cuchara y media de ajo. 
salsa de tomate, Bueno, ¿eh? Ok, muy bien. Entonces la salsa de tomate se la he hecho a los primeros dos en general. Si you put in a fresh can, you have to put a whole can or half a can of tomato sauce. And like I said, once again, you, you do it on the ear taste. All right, so I'm done with these ingredients. Ya termina con este ingrediente. Ahora viene el paquetito de sofrito de sazón. Y goya sazón. Ok, comes in little packs like this. Ok. And I am going to add two. Two. I'm going to open it. Put it in here. Dos paquetitos de sazón goya. Now comes the water. Okay, I added the water and you can see the water almost covered the whole pot. Oh my God, this, is, this looks so beautiful. And don't worry about if you need to add more salt or garlic. Because once this is cooked, you can add all that into it. Please don't forget, you add no oil. Okay, a esto se le echa bastante agua hasta llegar casi arriba. Fíjate, le eché. Es que estoy haciendo bastante aquí. Pero, qué bonito es eso, mira. Ay, ay. No le eche aceite de ninguna clase. Porque esto suelta su propia grasa. Y todo eso. Si desea echarle más sal, más ajo, lo que sea, se le puede echar al final cuando ya está esto. Mira qué bonito quedó eso. Ok, entonces aquí lo pongo en, en alto. Tase número 8. Ok. Le pongo la tapa a la olla de presión. Alright, I put it at 8, almost the highest temperature. And now I put the cover. My pressure cooker, it's got a little trick to it. Tiene un truquito. Y aquí, as you can see right here, there's a clamp, and it locks. And this is the release. That tells you uh, that the steam is coming out. So this is how you want to use your crock pot, I mean your pressure cooker. I don't know what type you have, but hopefully you have a good quality one. When I put it on high, I, I, I watch it, so I want to, when it starts steaming, when you start here steaming, starting to come out here, you want to lower it, usually to a number four or to a number three. You want to set your, your stove, right now it's preheating, so I'm not setting it yet. When it's starting, when it's, when, after like five minutes, then you want to set it for an hour. Man, an hour, maybe five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put it for an hour and ten because it's preheating. There. Okay. It's preheating. Now, the, the, I got it down to a science where I know after an hour it's already cooked. But you have to keep an eye on this. This is very important. It's muy importante mantenerle el ojo a esto. Le tengo en ocho para que empiece a calentar rápido, pero cuando empiece a salir como la, el humo de aquí, la, de la presión, tienes que bajarlo enseguida porque si no, se te va a derramar todo por todos lados. All right. So, we got it done. Everything's in there. And in one hour, I'm going to show you how amazing this came out. All right. Don't forget... Keep an eye on the pressure cooker. When you see it starting to steam, you start hearing that hissing sound, lower it from eight or nine all the way to three or four. And once again, an hour and ten minutes, 
and it's cooked. I will show you the final product and I'm going to start cleaning some of this mess. 